The first thing you're going to do when you are doing the mask making is your partner needs to have a design for what they want their mask to look like. So it's going to either be full face, half face, even if you want the phantom of the opera mask. So what kind of mask do you want to do? Full hmm. face or what's your design going to look like? Full face. Full face? Are the eyes going to be covered? No. Open and do you want your mouth covered? Mm, actually, eyes and mouth covered. Eyes and mouth covered yeah. and so the end of the nose. It's very important that you know this and so then when you're building on them, they have everything under control. While getting other things set up, have your partner go ahead and place Vaseline all over your face, including eyes, eyelashes, eyebrows, lips. Okay, go ahead and do that. <laughs> now the materials that you're going to be setting up while your partner is putting Vaseline all over them is we have plaster bandages. All this is is gauze that has plaster already in it. Plenty of these are already cut up. If we need to get more cut up, we can do that later on. But we have plenty of these. You want them in a variety of lengths. Some of them a little bit shorter, about one to two inches wide, three to four inches long. And we can always make them more narrow by folding them in half. So you'll want to have your plaster bandages. You also want to have a bowl of water. The bowls are going to be right back there. You can fill it up with the water. At the back sink, you only need the bowl about halfway full. And you'll also want to get your work area covered with the drop cloths or the sheets. Have plenty of sheets. We'll be working all in the room here, laying down. So as your partner is getting all the Vaseline, bandages, water, and get your work area covered. A paper towel, because if the plaster does get a little bit drippy, they can go ahead and wipe the different areas. So there's your paper towel. And we want to work out hand signals. If you're okay, thumbs up. If you need something, go ahead and like pat your chest or something and then I can ask you the questions about that. Okay, work out those hand signals and so then they can let you know if they need something. So if you're good, hands up. Once we start putting the plaster bandages on, you don't want your partner to be talking. Every time they're talking, that's gonna move their facial muscles and it's gonna wrinkle up the plaster bandages, which makes for a very messy mask because we want it to be nice and smooth. You're gonna take your plaster strip one at a time and dip it in the water and work it in your hands to where it gets the plaster nice and soft and kind of run it through your fingers and lay it down on the person. Then you're just going to be <laughs> running your fingers in a circular motion over the plaster bandage. Go ahead and work on your second one. Same thing, you only want to put one plaster strip in the water at a time because if you just leave it in the water, it's going to have all the plaster just fall off the gauze strip. And the reason you want to kind of get rid of the excess water is because the more water you have in it, the longer it's going to take it to dry. When you work on the second one, you're going to slightly overlap. And as you're working on this, constantly be talking to your partner and so then they know what's going on. And the reason you want to slightly overlap it is because the plaster strips does dry fairly quickly. If you're not overlapping it, then they'll dry separately and it's not going to make your mask as strong. We want this to be a nice strong mask. Okay, I have the first layer finished on the mask. If I was to just leave it at this point and take it off, it would not be strong enough. It would pretty much fall apart. So with plaster mask, you need to do at least three layers. So I'm going to go ahead over the entire thing and add two more layers on the top one. Still talk, And so once you have the first layer finished, the second and third layer should not take very much time. It should be a fairly quick process. So I'm just going to go over the whole thing. As you're working, try not to get it into their hair. It's going to make it hard to clean out. So as you're doing this, and keep in mind, your partner is going to be building it on you next. So however you treat them to begin with, there's going to be paybacks. <laughs> if you feel that there are sections, and you can just use your fingers to feel this, that are flexible under your fingers, it's giving. It's not going to be strong enough when you take it off. 
and it can fall apart if you take it off with it being flexible at that point. So you need to add more layers. And as it starts drying on your partner, they'll feel where it's starting to tighten on their skin a little bit. And that's fine. Once you start feeling where it's starting to get tight, that means it's almost ready to come off. And it doesn't take too long for it to come off. And the reason we're wearing those old clothes is because you will get a little bit on your clothing. And that'll be fine. So make sure that you have the old clothing and something to have your hair back with for this process. Okay, I've checked the mask for any flexible areas. Feels pretty good around the whole thing. So what we're going to do at this point is we're just going to let it dry. And so your partner's just going to relax while it's drying here. It's going to take about four to five minutes for it to dry. Some people it's going to, it might be a little bit longer. Some people might be a little bit shorter. The temperature of your skin is what's going to affect how fast it dries. So if you are fairly warm, it's going to dry a little bit faster. Another thing that's going to be a factor, if your partner used a lot of water and they didn't run their fingers through it, it's going to take longer to dry. So you want to make sure that you don't have too much of that. And this one's already drying up pretty good. So we're just going to let it set there. And what I'm doing right now is I have a little bit of this plaster already on my fingers. And I'm just kind of smoothing out the surface. And this will make for a really nice surface to paint later on. Yeah, it's already starting to dry up pretty good here. Okay, so you're not going to leave your partner as it's drying. You're going to still stay there with them and talk them through it, even kind of, to, and they'll be able to tell that it's starting to harden up as well. They might even be able to tell a little bit more than you if it's almost ready because some of it will start loosening up as it dries. Okay. You can definitely tell right now that the mask is plenty dry enough. We're going to be taking it off. What your partner's going to do is make all of these funny faces. Start wiggling your nose, wiggling your eyebrows, scrunching up your face, making fishy faces. So you want to make all these real goofy faces to loosen it up from your skin. So just wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And you guys can see as he's wiggling it, it's already starting to loosen up. And it's going to come up. Good job. Perfect. Okay. What you're going to do with the mask? You're going to hold it in the palm of your hand. You don't want to hand it to your partner because your partner's going to be a little bit disoriented. Right? They've been laying down the whole time. Hold the mask in the palm of your hand. Hold your partner up. Got a hand. There you go. Perfect. And help your partner to the sink where they can clean up. Okay? Of course. Good job. <laughs> With the mask, at this point, it is still fairly fragile. It needs a good 24 hours for it to completely dry. So what you're going to be doing is, in order for it to dry, you're going to be setting it this way. If it's too flexible, carry it around in your hand for a while so it can dry up and firm up a little bit more. So, and it'll just kind of cradle the mask there. Once it is dry, then you can decorate it and paint it however you want. Um, the kind of glue that you'll want to use for plaster mask, more than likely hot glue is the best. It's really hard to use Elmer's glue. It'll, or any school glue, it doesn't hold as well because the plaster is going to be a little bit dusty. If there's any areas that you want to trim off on the sides, you can just use scissors to clean up the edges. The eyes, if you want to cut those out, you can do that a little bit. I wouldn't do it too much though because that can make it a little bit more weak. The reason you want to have your design to begin with, whether you're doing half or full, if I was to cut this in half right now, it would not be strong enough. So you want to make sure that you have that design to begin with. And that's how you do mask making. That's it.